transform an old t-shirt into a hanging pot planter. If you want to colour up your planter afterwards, you'll need some Sharpie markers and some rubbing alcohol. I use this Isoprol product. Hi, my name is Melissa. I'm one of the teachers at Sisterworks. Um, I've been running a series of upcycling workshops with some of the ladies that are connected with Sisterworks. The video that you're just about to see is our online workshop for making a hanging pot plant holder and uh, what we needed to have is something that they, uh, the ladies could find at home because we couldn't normally we supplied them with materials this was something that, that we needed that they could have in their wardrobe and then we can upcycle it into something. Here's a look at the end results of the t-shirt project. Now I'm going to show you what they started out as. In the video you'll see that there's green. There's a green pot plant holder. This is all that's left of the green t-shirt that we turned into the green plant holder. And the second one which I used the Sharpie markers on was actually made out of a pair of pyjama pants. So it doesn't have to be a t-shirt. Now's the time to go through your wardrobe and find some old t-shirts that you don't love anymore, like this horrible one, and we'll cut it up and turn it into something useful. So today we're going to make a hanging plant holder out of an old t-shirt. I, You can see that I'm measuring down the sides and I need 12 strips, 2.5 centimeters wide. So I'm cutting it under the arms and then cutting the hem off and then cutting as carefully as possible 12 strips of t-shirt, 2.5 centimeters wide. Once they're cut, you stretch them out, which causes them to become more like a rope, a string. So in this particular situation, there's no side seams, but I will be cutting them open, each of the loops, so we get 12 long strips, as you can see here. Now we've gathered them together and we tie a knot. This is going to be the very bottom of the hanging basket. Then what we need to do is spread out the strands in pairs. So six lots of two spiraling out like a fan. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to tie a knot in each pair. Each of the six pairs will get a knot tied in them. Not too hard at the start, so don't pull it super tight in case you need to adjust it. I have them about seven, seven, eight centimeters down from the original knot. So we go around the fan shape and tie each of the pairs down in a knot seven centimeters from the original big knot. So that's the very first line of weaving of knots for the hanging basket. Then the next step is actually to separate each of the pairs like this, so in a Y shape. And then what you're going to be doing is leaving the very top strand by itself. You get the next two and tie a knot, and then the next two. So you go around your fan shape, tying knots the same distance apart, so around seven centimeters. And once you've done all the ones that are in the fan shape, you should end up with two strands, single strands by themselves at both tops. You can see there's a single strand on the right hand side, there's now a single strand on the left hand side. So I'm going to get those two single strands and bring them together and knot them, the same as the other ones. So around seven centimeters down. So now we've closed off the bottom of the plant holder. So once we've done our second line of knots, we need to separate the strands into a Y again and do exactly the same thing, a third 
line of knots to go round the plant holder. At this stage, I just think we should note that uh, I've chosen a green t-shirt to make this out of. It's already pre-coloured, but there's no reason why you can't add additional colour by using the Sharpie markers and the rubbing alcohol. Or I can imagine the tassel on the bottom of this particular hanging, hanging basket would look, look particularly nice dipped in a bit of bleach so you get an ombre fringing on it. So consider the kind of stuff that you learnt in the previous weeks and you can apply it to this particular project. So you can see that I've finished the third line of knots and you end up with a net like shape. So you can see three lines of knots. They should all be around the same distance apart. Now I'm just going to straighten up the links that are going to be the hanging section. I'm going to pull them all so they're all about the same distance and tie a knot in it. I probably, if I was doing this um, well later on, I'll probably trim off the excess strands from that just to tidy it up. So that pro provides the section that you can hang your basket up in. Now, you can see I've opened up the little net and nestled a little pot plant into the netting. So the weight of the pot plant should spread out your, uh, your t-shirt hanging basket. And then it's just a matter of hanging up somewhere in the window so it can catch some light. It's your choice if you wish to leave it the colour of the t-shirt or if you continue watching we're going to colour up another one that I made using Sharpie markers and rubbing alcohol. So here's my finished uh, plant hanger that I did today in class. And I had already coloured in the big knot at the bottom and dripped on some uh, isoprol rubbing alcohol. Um, so it's already got started. And then I'm like, oh no, I want more colours than that. So I'm colouring in the knots and a little bit either side of the knots. And then the idea is to pour the rubbing alcohol on the knots because you want the, the rubbing alcohol to spread both directions. So you put most of the alcohol on the section that's coloured and then you allow it to bleed into the middle sections where it's not coloured. So here you can see, uh, and I guess uh, I didn't ruin the plate, it does come off in the dishwasher, but you can see I'm putting the rubbing alcohol at the end of the piece and then I want it to flow down. It should take about two to three hours for the rubbing alcohol to dry. Leave everything on the plate and try not to allow different colours to touch each other during that time. Otherwise it can transfer across. Once you've finished that, you can put your pot plant in and you're all finished. Let's get ready to walk the blue stones again. Let's curse Punt Road. Let's ride the Frankston line. Let's dodge swooping Maggies. Let's cross the inglorious river. Let's get ready to chuck hook turns in the rain. Let's order obnoxious coffees. Let's queue for dimmies. Let's avoid outbound on the Tuller. Let's wear the blackest black. Let's Gertrude, let's Bay, let's Burke, let's Hoddle. Let's Melbourne again. An initiative to reinvigorate Melbourne from those who love this city.